Hey guys, this is Mike. Welcome back. Today we're doing a review of the Casio 5610. And, uh, you know, 60 clicks isn't just about mechanical watches. We love our digital watches too. You know, one of the things I, I really don't like about the watch industry is, is sort of the snobbery and the need to have really expensive timepieces to, to enjoy it. And, um, you know, this is a timepiece that I, it's, it's 80 bucks and it's, it's one of the most fun watches you can buy. So the GWM 5610 is essentially the same watch as the classic Square 5600, um, with the exception of the tough solar and the multiband six capabilities, which I'll, I'll touch on a little bit later. I really like the design of this watch. It's actually almost identical to the original DW 5000C that came out in 1983. One thing I really love about the Square G-Shocks is they're they're actually a reasonable size. You know, most of the G-Shocks are massive things that you wear on your wrist and and this is just a reasonably sized watch that's really easy to wear every day. Now G-Shocks are popular watches worldwide and that's because they really are super tough watches. There's a video online of people dropping these things from 13-story buildings and running them over with two-ton dump trucks and submersing them in hot boiling water and they're really tough to kill um, and that's because they're engineered in a very specific way. Uh, the quartz movement, which by itself is actually pretty durable, is in a hollow floating case structure, which uh, means that the movement itself doesn't really touch the edges of the case. Uh, the bezel and the way that the case protrusions are designed protects the buttons and the screen and a lot of the uh, sensitive surfaces on this watch. And the back of this uh, case is a solid piece of stainless steel. It's also waterproof up to 200 meters in depth although there are videos out there that prove it can go deeper. Um, the point is this watch is going to go a lot deeper than most humans can actually dive. So taking a bit of a closer look at the functions of this module, you've got a world time feature, which has about 60 different time zones and cities, a super useful feature for traveling around the world. You've also got the basic alarm. There are five of them, and you can also set in uh, hourly signal if you want. The stopwatch, pretty standard. You can use it to time food or errands or whatever else you want. Um, and you've got the hour indicator here in the upper right if you want to time things more than an hour. And you can reverse that and use the countdown feature, which is essentially just a timer, uh, but it's really useful for timing things if you've got a known duration. Most G-Shocks have an auto illumination feature, and this one is no exception. Uh, you push the button in the upper right and it illuminates the screen briefly. You've also got an auto illumination function if you hold down that button for a few seconds. And what that will do is it will activate the uh, tilt sensor. So when you actually uh, tilt your wrist towards your face, the watch will illuminate automatically. Uh, this feature will shut itself off after a few hours. One thing I did want to talk about in a little bit more detail is the Tough Solar and Multiband 6 capabilities. Tough Solar is basically a ring of small solar panels around the screen that charges the battery using uh, sun, external light, or uh, internal fluorescent lights. Um, you know, if you keep this thing outside, it should stay pretty well charged, and there's an indicator on the bottom with uh, low, medium, and high to let you know where the battery is. The Multiband 6 actually refers to this watch's ability to synchronize with uh, standard atomic time. There's something called the cesium fountain clock, which is basically the most accurate atomic clock in the world. And there are six radio stations around the world that transmit this signal daily. Um, there's two then in uh, Japan. There's two in Europe, uh, Germany and the UK. Uh, the U.S. tower is in Fort Collins, and the sixth one is in China. Now, this is a really useful feature for keeping your watch perfectly synchronized and uh, you know you can actually use this as a tool to set some of your less accurate mechanical movements as well. Now I'm going to show you a fun little trick you can do with this watch. Now, if you actually press and quickly hold the A, C, and D buttons simultaneously you can access this uh, visual test screen which allows you to cycle through all of the display modes uh, it's kind of fun just to see all the features on the watch and also to do a test if you uh, fear that any of your screen is actually dysfunctional. So overall, I think this is really the perfect weekend and sport watch. 
Uh, it's something you can wear without having to worry about ruining it or destroying one of your more expensive pieces. Uh, it's super accurate and uh, it's got a ton of useful functions. For 80 bucks, it's pretty hard to beat the value for this watch. It's going to last you a lifetime. It's The battery's uh, 10 to 15 years and this thing's never going to break. Uh, it's the perfect watch for going outdoors or doing chores or anything where you don't want to destroy your other watches. So I hope you enjoyed my review. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more, please head over to 60clicks.com where I've got a ton more information about tool watches and digital watches as well. Thanks.